hello again. This is Nicholas Kaplanis, and I have already done a prop video on the jumping spider, but now we are focusing on the grabbing scarecrow, I shall call him. Yes, I look very small. I'm sitting down. Yeah, he's a uh, six. Uh, I think he might be six feet. I think he is. Yeah, he is. I'm sorry, I, my brain is shot. He is six feet tall. Um, he is from Techie Toys. Here, let me adjust the camera. You don't have to see his arm exactly yet until we uh, video him. Okay, right there. Okay. Now, I'm not a popular YouTuber, and I'm not like famous YouTubers, but um, I just do basic videos and just, you know, see what they think on me. I'm not here for my fame. I'm just here to show them what my animatronics are all about. These are not only my two animatronics. I have 25 others in my basement. That does not seem a lot, and that, that is not a lot. Uh, it is a lot for my family. Um, they, um, a lot of them are spirit brands, and a lot of them are Home Depot brands. I've never had one that's not a Home Depot or a Spirit Halloween one. Um, I have a couple techie toys, which is, is I have Peekaboo Penny, which she is from Spirit Halloween, and techie toys. This is from Techie Toys. Like I said, he's six feet tall. He has a uh, fabric on him. is very soft. He has very good material. He is very, very easy to set up. Very easy. I would not be surprised. Uh, I would be very surprised if you don't know how to set him up. If you have trouble, just look on YouTube. Um, I was going to set him up, but I just was in a rush and I forgot to set him up. Cause I had to go somewhere, but I forgot to do a video. So I was in a rush and I just set him up really quickly, plugged him in, uh, and he works perfectly fine. But there are a lot of wires in the back. Uh, the tray me button is optional. It does not come with a prop. Not that I know of. This is Home Depot, I got him, but he's from really originally Techie. Um, he usually, I, all my, they're usually motion sensor. You can, um, you know, just put batteries in him and that kind of stuff. But anyway, oh, here's my dog. Hi, buddy. You want to come to the video? This is my dog. His name is Leo. <clears throat> he is a West Highland Terrier. I know this is not on any but the subject. He is a Westie. You might see dogs like this on the Caesar commercial. Very cute. His name is Leo. He's a boy. He's very sweet. He loves the people. He likes to catch rabbits and animals and bunnies and squirrels. You can go off. Anyway, he does not like the jumping spider either. He might just chill. But anyway, yeah, this is the try me button. It is not come with the box that he comes with. The batteries, or, you know, so, try me button is not, you have to, it, it's not included with that. Um, okay, so let's get to the interior, well, not the, the you know, the stuff. I think, like, he kind of looks like an alien, but really not an alien. The face looks very cool. He reminds me of Burlap, Burlap Scarecrow from 2018 season of Spirit Halloween. I don't like, what I don't like about him is that the base is very noticeable and uh, his skirt does not go all the way down. That really bothers me, but we can fix that by putting some fabric there. Uh, the other part I don't like is that I am weighing some, the chair right behind the booth is holding down the space because without the base he falls down for an example let me show you the base is not on now watch oh 
How do I say this? Spinning. Oh, there he goes. He just starts to fall. You don't want him to fall. So, I recommend putting a brick. If you buy him for Halloween, put a brick under him or something that can weigh on him. Uh, the fabric is really good. I like the bones right here. That is Velcro. So you can take that off or put that on whenever you like. Um, I think. Oh, yeah. I see. So the, the Velcro is part of this skirt. Without this skirt, it just looked like this. You don't want that. So I would not want this. And you'll see there's a lot of wiring back there. You may not see it, but yeah, it's a lot. Um, he is very easy to get him set up. Uh, he's about six feet tall. Um, he is very, very loud. There's a volume switch on the back of him. You can put batteries or just plug them in the wall if you don't have any batteries or you need batteries. In my opinion, I just uh, put him on motion sensor because I put all my animated stuff outside. Uh, but anyway, his eyes right, 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 sorry about that, light up. They're about a yellowish, light, light orange color. Um, the fabric is like a silk. Like I said, I don't like the base. It's very noticeable and it falls down without anything that does not get weighed on. The fingers are flexible, so you can put them in a way. See how this stands up like this? You can push that down if necessary, or you can have them like this, which I don't like, but you know, you can design them a different way, like that, like, but I have them like this. And he looks very cool at night. Um, unfortunately, I will not be doing a nighttime uh, proper view of him and showing him in the dark because it is light out here. It's about five o'clock. Um, very gloomy day out. But yeah, this I got him for fifty dollars at Home Depot. Fifty dollars. He was not used. He was just on sale, and my um, I just got him for fifty dollars, and that's that's a good deal for that. Um. The also part I don't like about him is that when he tries to come and grab you, it takes a long time for him, his arm, to reset. So he's like this. Then he'll grab you, and then he does this all the way. It takes a while, and then you can just, his audio will stop, and you just hear the motor running for a few seconds. But that's the part I don't like about that. Anyway, I don't really care about that because all my animatronics will be on making noise and you can hardly not hear that sound. Now, if you don't have an animatronic besides this guy, you need to get one that's loud because you do not want to hear this motor. You can get one that's cheap for jumping spider, any that you can use a coupon for. Um, so I think this, uh, I might get Miss Mercy. She's a nurse. Spirit Halloween that sells her head turns all the way around. I might get her depending on when she either if she's at the my local store or she um, I have to order online and she has to come in a certain time. But I will be doing a proper view on her if I decide to get her this year. Um, like every year I get more animatronics. I'm just running out of in my basement, so I think I'm just gonna stop next year, which it'll be a bummer. I do setup videos, which I have not posted on YouTube yet. Um, I uh, sometimes I do off camera, sometimes I do on camera. Depends how I look, and you know if I want to even do a video. But um, yeah, six foot grabbing scarecrow. Also, I don't like is that the heads, like, the hats, like this, and it hides the eyes. So what could be best is maybe you could have a rubber band and it could be like this. Which looks also better like this so you can see it actually. That's actually staying there right now. Um, yeah. It's, uh, I like this like, hanging spider web, whatever it is. Cloth kind of material. Very good, uh, for the money. $50 is not that bad, actually. It's not bad at all. 
I wanted to buy Nino Gramps, and I was going to buy him, and he just got sold, so I was going to do a proper review on him. But unfortunately, we're not going to get him this year, so maybe next year. But anyway, I will be turning him on right this second, and I will be showing you how he works and how I call him the Grabbing Scarecrow. Again, this video might have some noise. I will be ending this video in about two minutes. The only part I have left is for you to disguise how he activates. So right now, I'm going to tilt the camera this way. You can see him all the way like that. It's a good spot for him like there. Perfect. You can kind of see his other arm like there we go. Now, I will be plugging him in. And that'll wrap it up for the day. Uh, yeah. So let's see how he works. He only has two phrases. That's not a lot of phrases that I was expecting for him. But the rest, he's a gettable prop. Okay. So. Here is your grabbing scarecrow. Oh, I should say this earlier before I turn him on. You might want to make the legs look a little more realistic. Stuff some pillow fluff under there. But yeah, anyway, I will turn him on right now. Okay, here is your grabbing scarecrow. I honestly it's like how I call him. Here we go. time guys <laughs> so anyway yeah that's how why I call him the him the grabbing scarecrow i don't know if there's a certain name for him but yeah fifty dollars well worth the money he is a gettable prop love him very much uh, i have a lot of farm themed characters i have two scarecrows in my basement i have the forgotten farmer in my basement and i have this jack-o-lantern it's about as height it it's pretty cool for halloween night actually halloween day I will be posting a video how to how I set my yard up and how I set my driveway. Now I do not do a haunted house. I consider maybe doing a yard haunt. Uh, but I'll just post every animatronic out there. Hopefully it's not a bad day like this one. But yeah, anyway, this is your grabbing scarecrow. Thank you for watching everybody and have a nice night. Excuse me, have a nice night. Bye.